Next time you get asked to bring a salad to your next summer gathering, don't get the Caesar salad mix at the store. Instead, make one of these amazing, super fancy, but simple salads. This first salad is my famous Cobb salad with homemade croutons and a buttermilk herby ranch. This one is so good. You have to make all the components. They're all really simple, but when you get it together, it is the best Cobb salad ever. So what we're gonna do is start out by making our homemade croutons. First, get some French bread. I used about a third of a loaf of store-bought French bread, and then you just want to cube it up like this. And then to a very hot pan, add some bacon grease. Now this is key. You need to have some bacon grease and you're making bacon for the salad itself. So make sure you keep that bacon grease. If you don't have bacon grease, use a little combination of about one or two tablespoons of butter with one or two tablespoons of olive oil. So to a really hot pan, about medium high heat, add all the bread cubes and kind of toss them up into the bacon grease. And then I just hit it with some salt, pepper and garlic powder like this and just toss them up and toast them. You don't want them too crispy and you don't want them to sit there too long. Otherwise, they'll get some burned bits like mine. But if you toss it the whole time, then they won't get that way. They'll just be buttery, golden, yummy, and they're perfect. So when they're done, put the croutons on a cooling rack or just in a plate or a bowl so they can cool down before you put them on the salad. The bacon grease absorbs into the toasted croutons and it is so good. The flavor is unmatched and it really adds a big component to the finished salad. So make sure you use the bacony croutons. The next component to the best cop salad ever is my homemade buttermilk herby ranch. This is so good and I use it for everything. So start out with some mayo, sour cream, and buttermilk. It's equal parts, all of those. Then we're going to add our dried spices. So first we're going to start with dried onion flakes, dried dill, seasoned salt, and of course I'm only using the Redmond real salt, it's my favorite, garlic powder, dehydrated chives, this gives it really a nice color and flavor. Just a tiny bit of basil, and this is what really makes it from a ranch to an herby ranch. I love that basil-y flavor. But if you don't like that basil flavor, then just omit. This ranch really reminds me of the same kind of ranch that they have at the Old Spaghetti Factory. But if you don't like that herbiness, then leave out the basil. Next is some dried parsley, and then at the very end, just some pepper. Mix this all up and refrigerate it for at least two hours before using. Now let's arrange this stunning salad, I have this really pretty platter that I'm using. So I'm starting with a lettuce base with just romaine lettuce, but you can use your favorite mix. I think romaine or iceberg is really traditional for a cob salad. Next, we're going to do an avocado. I like to take half of an avocado and then cut it down the center on the short side, and then I'll scoop the whole thing out and then kind of arrange them into really pretty slices all over the greens. Next, we're adding some thick cut bacon. This is so good. I feel like every salad tastes so much better with bacon, am I right? Next, you can omit the dairy and the cheese, but I really like a thick cut cheddar blend. It just has a lot of really good flavor that melds really well with the other components of the salad. Next, I take a bunch of hard boiled eggs that I made in my Instant Pot, which you can find a whole video on how to do that here. I like to cut them with my egg slicer because it just makes everything look really uniform, crisp, and clean. Those little hard boiled eggs slices, I like to arrange in groups of three or five. Those odd numbers are what really attract the human eye, so I like to do those types of groupings. Next, I add whole cherry or grape tomatoes. These are so beautiful, and again, doing them in groups of three or five, just add them all throughout, making sure that they touch something that's a complementary color, so like the green with the avocado, all of that makes a perfectly styled salad. Next, I add some sliced red onion for some color, but again, if you don't like this, it's okay, you don't have to add it. Next, some sunflower nuts for a little crunch and texture. And then we're gonna finish it off with our homemade bacon croutons, which are just out of this world. They're so good. And then top it with that herby ranch. And don't forget the salt and pepper. Look how beautiful. This next one is an absolute favorite of mine. It's the Catania salad, and it's a dupe from a really popular restaurant here in Utah called Pizzeria Limone. Now, I love everything about this salad except the price when I buy it there, so I recreate it at home, and it's so simple and easy. This salad has fresh oranges, chicken, corn, avocado, just, oh, it's so good, and it has this really light, 
orange dressing. So let's recreate that at home starting right now. First, we're going to make the orange vinaigrette. Now at Pizzeria Limone, this vinaigrette is super, super thin. It's basically like just straight orange juice. So it's not a super thick one. Let's get started. Start out with one cup of a higher quality orange juice. You don't want any Tampico or anything like that for this one. I like using Simply Orange or the fresh orange juice from Costco. Next, add one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. That vinegar really helps like make it a vinaigrette. And then three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Next, add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and that's going to act as our emulsifier for the vinaigrette. And then just end it with a little bit of fresh cracked pepper and salt. We mix that all together and just let it chill in the fridge for a couple hours while we're assembling our salad. So for the Catania salad, I really like taking this to like a dinner party or we just have it as a main dish for dinner. It is so good with grilled chicken, but you can also do another protein or leave the protein out if you want it to be a little lighter. So start out with a base of romaine lettuce. Next, I add some grilled up chicken and you can use whatever protein you like. And if it's too much, then you can just leave the protein off if you want something a little lighter. At Pizzeria Limone, they add half an avocado to every order of this salad. So I usually do like one or two whole avocados for a giant platter. I don't do a whole half avocado for one serving, but you can do whatever you like if you like avocado, but scoop that out and put it onto your salad. Next, we're gonna do some grilled sweet corn. Now, I just like to take the sweet corn that's frozen, and then I'll just char it in a pan really quickly before I add it to the salad. Whatever you do, for this one, don't do canned corn. That just does not have the right flavor and texture that we're going for in the salad. Next, we'll add a little bit of red onion and then some orange supremes. It's really important to get all that yummy orange segment without all the pith and everything. So watch this video on how to correctly supreme an orange. And then we're gonna add some real bacon. I like the really thick cut kind. It's so good. Like I said, nothing is not improved without adding bacon, especially a salad. Next, I'm going to add some parmesan on shavings. Now this was shredded, but at the restaurant they do shaved, which you can see in this picture right here. It's so pretty either way, but the flavor is the same. The shaved one just looks a lot prettier. Lastly, just top your avocado with some crushed pistachios. This gives it really good crunch color, flavor, it's really pretty. And then of course, we're going to dress this all up with that yummy dressing that we made earlier. This is so stunning. It is definitely super fancy, but it's simple and it has all the makings of a great salad. This next salad is so stunning. It's like a strawberry Southwest type of salad. And you'll notice with this one, I don't do any kind of a dressing because I always serve this at a barbecue where the meat is going to have some kind of a barbecue sauce. So I like doing it with ribs or brisket because I eat them together and the sauce from the meat acts as the dressing for this salad. We're starting off with a bed of some butter lettuce. Butter lettuce is really tender and it's really soft. It's really pretty, so it's perfect for this salad. Next, we're gonna add some avocados. You can slice these up in the skin and then scoop them out beforehand or you can cube it, whatever you like. Next, we're gonna add some sliced strawberries and you can do these quarter or even smaller diced, but I like them sliced because they're really pretty throughout. And then we're gonna add some black beans. I just use canned black beans and they don't need to be warmed up or anything. Just make sure that you drain and rinse them before adding them to the salad. Next, I'd like to do fresh grilled corn for the salad. It's just one of those extra little steps that makes it really special, but it's so worth it. I just take some corn on the cob and I throw it on the griddle pan on my grill. Just let it steam through and get some of those char marks on there. And that is just so, so pretty. If you don't want to do that though, that's totally fine. I would just defrost some frozen corn and that will work just fine as well. Next, we're going to add some cherry or grape tomato halves or quarters, however you like them. And then of course, bacon because we need that salty, crispy element. So good in the Southwest salad. And then I just made some pickled red onions. You could do them pickled or you can do them plain, but pickling red onions is really simple. You just have to boil like some water, sugar, vinegar, salt, and then you just put them all together with like red onions and then let it sit for a minute and you can use these on so many things. And then next we're gonna do some cilantro. I'm using my herb scissors here to just cut some cilantro all over the top and it really adds a really nice flavor. I love adding herbs to salad because it just enhances everything else. 
And honestly, that's it. I like to garnish it with some extra whole or halved strawberries so it kind of completes the look. It's so pretty that way. Like I said, I don't like to serve this salad with a dressing because I just don't think it needs it. But something that goes really well with it is a poppy seed dressing. I highly recommend the Brianna's brand as well as like a Southwestern or just a regular ranch works really well as well. Look at this salad, like how stunning is this? This is a $20 salad that you could get at a restaurant and you made it at home. This will be a hit wherever you take it. This last salad is the simplest one, but it might be my favorite because I can eat it every single day and not get tired of it. This is a really simple burrata salad, and if you've never had burrata before, it is amazing. It's fresh mozzarella, and inside of the mozzarella is fresh mozzarella that's been shredded up and soaked in heavy cream, so it becomes like this really soft, gooey ooeyness inside, and it's cold, but you just tear it open over like bread, tomatoes, salad, or pasta, and it is to die for. So here's how to make my yummy burrata date salad. Start out with a couple handfuls of spring mix, arugula, wilted greens, anything that's kind of colorful and delicious like this. And then we're going to toss it with our baker and olive peach balsamic. This is such a light, peachy, not even really vinegary flavor. It's so good. Just toss a tiny bit of that with a little bit of olive oil and toss the greens so it has a little bit of something throughout the whole thing. And then next we have the nuts. You can add walnuts or almonds. I'm just using what I have. And then just some dates. I know this looks like bacon, but they're just these amazing little bites of sweetness that go perfectly with this salad. It's just amazing. And then the star of the show, this is burrata cheese. Burrata is amazing. It's just a fresh ball of mozzarella cheese and it is filled with mozzarella cheese shreds that have been soaked in heavy cream and you just like open it up, put it right there. Look at that, that's amazing. Okay, to this you just want to, of course, salt your spring mix and the burrata. Lots of fresh cut pepper throughout. And then we're going to use just a balsamic glaze. That is stunning. It is so simple, yet so good, and everyone will love it. And that's it, look at this stunning burrata salad. You just tear open that burrata and you eat it with that balsamic and the crunchiness of the nuts and the sweetness of the dates. It sounds kind of weird, I know, but this was inspired by a salad that I had at a restaurant and it is so good. So I hope that you'll try it. I hope you try all of these salads and that we'll see you on the next one, bye.